Let me read. I want to read this. It's a nice majesty. Yeah, man. I want to read this. And I, I want to read this from the Kebrenegast. Mm -hmm. I don't know if man say read of the Kebrenegast mm -hmm. and all of them to do the wallet. But 1922, mm -hmm. this come out. Right? The, the chapter 95. Yeah. Oh, the honorable estate of the king of Ethiopia was universally accepted. Right? So, now through the Kebrenegast, we know and have learned that of a surety the king of Ethiopia is honorable and that he is the king of Zion and the firstborn seed of Shem and that the habitation of God is in Zion. And Zion is Ethiopia. Who is the firstborn seed of Shem? Jesus. And, and, and the Lord that made heaven and earth. Okay, bless me out of Zion. Actually... I'm going to read this other part here. I've got to read this page here. So we can start the discussion. It's from, the, from our, our book, um, The War Against Ethiopia. The War Against Christian Ethiopia. The first Christian nation. Right? And this um, is an introductory page called The God of Shem. And I had to um, put this there too. You know, we're going to start with certain things. So, the Semitic world of the Lion of Judah, Haile Selassie, is different, differs greatly from the Canaanites, who scornfully deny the King of Israel and his manner of salvation by calling everything anti Semitic. If you disagree with their, with their anti Semitic actions, mm -hmm. forgetting that. Judaism, Acts 2, 5, Christianity and Islam are all Semitic religions. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the fate of millions of people around the world. And they're splitting it. Well, that's what it is. It's not just Muslim and Jews are of, of the Semitic religion. Christianity is, is, the, Christianity is actually the principal Semitic religion. Yeah. No one will fulfill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jew and the Arabs. <laughs> yeah, that's the exactly. Yeah. yeah, the principal. Yeah, it's the principal one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Back. Not the secondary one. From no. the beginning. Yeah. yeah. So if one read the Bible with honesty, you would discover that the tribe of Judah, with the exception of the house of Solomon in Ethiopia, BC 999, did not even follow the law of God. Yeah. Jeremiah 44, right, verse 10. Their Judaic worship was a mixture of pagan fertility goddesses of Egypt, Cush, and Patros, which is still visible in modern Africa. Can check Jeremiah 44. Yeah. Right, and um, similar, which is similar to the Falasha Jewish fertility cult. World Jewry is based on rabbinical, Chaldean, Kabbalistic teachings and Messianic Adventism. That's what their deal. That's why everybody go down there. So, <laughs> in my view, when Emperor Haile Selassie appeared in the Assembly of Nations in 1936, he was describing George C. Scott's book, The Rise and Fall of the, of the League of Nations. That's George C. Scott. You can try and look that up. He was, he, he was described as a small, thin-bearded man with sharp, Semitic features, speaking a Semitic language, elect of God, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, king of kings of Ethiopia, as he was identified among modern men. I saw them say Haile Selassie. Mm -hmm. Carry that description, right? So identity matters. So today, you know, um, BC 4478, the envy we see today, right, the envy, especially among black Jews, uh, have mm -hmm. its roots in the blessing by the patriarch Noah. Right, because I encounter these black Hebrew, whatever they call themselves, right, and they always want to scream at you and all these things. So Shem was the one who Noah blessed. He became the head patriarch, the chief inheritor of Adam the Giz. Because you can't be a patriarch if you don't have the Giz language. Yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. You, you can't be a patriarch. No. Yeah. It's not going to work that way. No. So Noah blessed Shem, right? And I found this part by um, the Ethiopian priest, Alika Kidani Waldi. Those three lines I put in there. 
Balebzu Habatis, Yikarna, Yalandi Abat, Yalandi, Mikinyat, Keset Bicha, Yeti Weledau, Yena to Tibuld, Kesem, Ke Abraham, Iske Yakim, Yetin Gualele, Yweredau, in the Saunetu, Wuld the Dawit, Wuld Abraham, Yeti Balau, Getachin, Medehani, Tachin, Jesus Christus Nazrawi Bihon, Yesem Zar Bicha, no, I Balim. As for the fathers, numerous pardons, and for that reason he is the one arbiter of the people. He was the only one engendered from the woman to be the head of the generation from Shem to Abraham unto Joachim or Joachim which is Mariam's family he is descended and made visible for, through her line just as in his persons and personality he is to be called the son of David son of Abraham mm -hmm. our Lord and our Savior Jesus mm -hmm. of Nazareth yeah. as it is said of him occurring only mm -hmm. from the seed of Shem yeah. That's from Ali Kakidani one well, yeah. along. So I hear uh, everybody else uh, you know, submit this, submit that and that. So what about this? This is Ethiopia's identity. Mm -hmm. The 318 father identified the king of Ethiopia as the first bar of the of Shem. My sovereignty. So how come that's not celebrated, Roger? Mm -hmm. I remember, you know, function amongst Rasta and bringing out this part of Ethiopia history are coming a lot of pressure. People are telling me this and that. But to just prove what I was reading here, when you show you said the, the one arbitrator, the head of the family from Shem. This is Ayla Silas's genealogy. Shem is the eleventh generation from Adam. He come from Adam, said Enos, Kaina, Malala Hel, Yared, Henok, Matusila, Lame, Noah, to Shem. Yeah, from, yeah. Ayla Silas's generation. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is <laughs> the, the Salamanic. This is the Salamanic line. Yeah. Enoch come before Shem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Enoch is the seventh, 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 seventh generation. Seventh. Yared seventh. is the sixth. Mm -hmm. Malalahel is the fifth. Aina is the fourth, and Enos. And yeah, said that Adam is the first generation. And you see these, all these you can check. The, the generation them to say who is the head of the family. Yeah. The head of the family. The one who is the arbitrator. Yeah, that one there. The, the line is run down here. So the people who I am, um, the people who claim to be Semitic, does it have, do they, is this their family? Is it in an Ethiopian book? Are they Ethiopians? Ah. They're Ethiopians? Are they in here? to see that their genealogy is more in there. Genealogy matters. Yeah. It's of the bloodline. Genealogy matters, not just ideology. <laughs> yeah, or what you're doing. Not just having a, a Semitic ideology. Yeah. You're talking about the bloodline. Yeah, legal, <laughs> legal claim. Yeah. Uh, the legal, legal claim. Because when you go, yeah, to, no, when you go to claim something, <laughs> you have to prove your identity. But they might bring out DNA now and yes, you have to, exactly, you have to prove your identity. Concrete meaning of it that if you know yeah. yours, you can't really exactly. claim it and you can't sponsor him. So exactly. how them yeah. recognize yeah. the kings of kings genealogy from yeah, and, and see it here, you know, again, the hundred and first generation, Bazen was born. Bazen was reigning when um, Christ was born. The time of Christ, yes, exactly. Yeah. That's the history. Even in world history, you have it that way. This yeah, is Ethiopian history. Yeah, but they come world like history. Who's history is this? Who's history is this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ethiopia's history. Yeah, and then the, the line of Judah's history down to Yeshimabet, the woman of the thousand generations. We went through all of that. We've done this to history. Yeah. Research, archaeology, called findings. Yeah, we, 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 we never have to dig up nothing and excavate mm -hmm. and send in the Indiana Jones. Rastafari. We have to learn to read all right. We look at the microscope yeah, and them thing there. Yeah, <laughs> generation of his majesty. Well, the microscope for us is the truth. Well, yeah, yeah, but um... 
they are the Coptic, but also the Ethiopian bishop. They are with the Coptic churchmen. This, this thing is always, you know, because we say a whole lot of people are attacking Ethiopia and Ethiopians and attacking our faith. You know, and um, this is another apartheid from the Kebrana dust. I, I don't want to tell the story of the Solomon's inheritance, his heritage when his offspring inherited. Because um, here we have the Queen of Sheba with Solomon at court, right? And um, in the, the Royal Chronicles um, with 2 Samuel 7, this fall under the Davidic covenant. Mm -hmm. right? And if we see from verse 16 of 2 Samuel, and thy house and thy kingdom shall be established forever. You can read before thee, mm -hmm. just before God. Right? So again, in the Cabernet the royal chronicle, Lord Glory of the King, Chapter 85, in those days Solomon was king in Jerusalem and Makeda was queen in Ethiopia. Unto both of them were given wisdom, glory, graciousness, understanding, and beauty of voice or the eloquent speech. So that speech, the eloquent speech, is the, um, the third rank of Ge'ez, the Hebrew in Ge'ez, the, the, the traditional speech, right? It comes from the Abba Gede, who's the seven across. Abu Gida He Wuzo. You know, the royal court hmm. in the cemetery. Abu Gida He Wuzo. Begu Diha Weziho. Begu. 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 Okay. You okay? Mm -hmm. As head of the family. Yeah. So um the dominion the the dominion of Ethiopia. You know? mm -hmm. When I was making this is the time um the war broke out in another place and so I decided to continue. But the dominion of Ethiopia, chapter ninety five again. Oh, the uh, from the Kebra Nagas, the Royal Chronicles, and the eastern borders of the Kingdom of Ethiopia is the beginning of the city of Gaza in the land of Judah, that is Jerusalem, and it is, and its boundary is in the Lake of Jericho, and it's pass it on by the coast of its sea to Leba. Saba, its boundary is hmm. the sea of the black and naked men, and goes up Mount Kebrenion into the sea of darkness. That is the place where the sun set. Its boundaries are the lands of the garden hmm. and Fenekin. Its boundaries reach it as far as Zawal, pass it on to the Sea of India, and as far as Tarsis, mm -hmm. its remote part lies in the Sea of Midian until it, until it comes to the country of Gaza where our enumeration began. I like hear. One river, one, one <laughs> floor. Right, so um, that when um, Solomon met Sheba, it was, he gave that to her as the part of the, because Gaza actually means um, a jurisdiction, the realm, his jurisdiction from the, the house of David was handed, attached to these two monarchs. That's why they show you know, that it became one kingdom. It was one place. One kingdom, right?
laws again comes up in the book of Acts because a lot of people, <coughs> you know, with saying Christianity you not know, come from Ethiopia and it rise here. But when I read the, the borders and you have to have geography in mind. In the book of Acts, eight. The angel of the Lord, Ixia hears Melak, Philippison, uh, Tenesna. Ke Jerusalem where the Gaza, be me where it all, men get where the debu be heed allow. So he's telling Philip to take the road, arise and go and take the road of Gaza, Gaza. the road, the Gaza road, mm -hmm. and meet the Ethiopian official. Mm -hmm. He's going to meet the Ethiopian official and baptize him and his majesty gave evidence of these things. We read it in the uh, book of Acts, yeah, even though people no, no. don't play it. Yeah. Right? People don't play it. We read it in the book of Acts. So, in BC um, 992, Solomon time and Sheba time, the land was under Ethiopia's jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. When Philip and the um, and if anybody not knows that the angel of the Lord is Jesus Christ. Christ yeah. Read, mm -hmm. read um, the New Testament and for a better reference, right. Judges 13. Right. Yeah, yeah. We'll come to Samson, Mother yeah. and Father. Right. Better reference, uh, you know, but where you see the divinity of the God of Israel. So this happened here, the, the baptism of the Ethiopian youth happened in the land of Gaza, right, which was yeah. then under Roman jurisdiction. The Roman world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the time of Christ. First advent. It was a Roman world. Rome had everybody. Anybody rebel under Rome him sending the legions. Mm -hmm. Even those were, you know, die hard religious, religious zealots and them things. Mm -hmm. In this happened, there's a lot of contention about, you know, they don't play this. And it's not really a eunuch, it's Ethiopian official. It's not a eunuch. Eunuch in the Ethiopia, in the European term, is, you know, a, a palace guard without any uh, organs or so them say. Yeah, right. And maybe the king can work his way with them and you know, but this one is, a, is an official, a government official. And His Majesty explained it to the world, what happened there in the Book of Acts. He confirms yeah, this, Lord. right, at the World Evangelical Congress. Here it is, here, there he is. And he said, we must have no doubt. Well, he asked them, no doubt. You all remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. forget? Yeah, right. Demi Marks. Right, you all remember reading the Acts of the Apostle. Philip baptized Ethiopian official. Yes, and then waking them up to the realization here now. Yeah, they say at the, at the Bible College, yeah. 1967, AD, when he was speaking to the, the theologians. Yeah. No doubt you all remember Ethiopia. reading in the Acts of Apostles. Yeah. Oh, Philip baptized the Ethiopian official. He's the first Ethiopian on record to have followed Christ. And from that day on, the Word of God has continued to grow in the hearts of Ethiopians. Okay, this is where they, they're trying to contend with because this is all this took place in AD 35. Right. And from them time, the the function of the eating, the word of God grow in our hearts. Right, yeah. right. Not in a building. Right. The heart where God dwells. Right. Which is the Judah yeah, function. Right. Like that he went till all right again. That's Christ. how he would function. That's Judah's, Judah's function. Of Judah. mm -hmm. yeah, man. Function of the heart. Right. Right. And praise be due to him. Yeah, the people was functioning. Your Imperial Majesty, Bishop DeBellius, delegates, observers, friends, ladies and gentlemen. When we were deciding about the program of this conference, there was one item that I was asked a little bit about, and that was what chief of state we might invite to come and greet us in the name of Christ. And we thought of several.
But the one that kept coming back to our thoughts and our minds was that great country of Ethiopia, the land of the Queen of Sheba, referred to in the Old Testament as Punt, and we remembered the story in the book of Acts about the Ethiopian nobleman that was converted to Christ, baptized, and went back to Ethiopia with the gospel. And since that day, Christian kings and emperors have ruled in that enchanting and beautiful country. Thirty-five years ago, there came to the throne Emperor Haile Selassie I. He established a written constitution. He established a parliament, a modern system of communication, built roads, hospitals, schools, and universities. And then the whole world became aware of him when, during the heroic days of the war. His Majesty is the protector of the state's Ethiopian Orthodox Church and is head of the church. And when he returned to his country on May the 5th, 1941, on that historic day, he announced to the world that in Ethiopia, Christian ethics in government, liberty of conscience, and democratic institutions would prevail in his country. The emperor of Ethiopia is a man that goes regularly to church and is a worshiper of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. When I had the privilege of being in Ethiopia for a campaign in Addis Ababa, when I spoke, all schools were closed, and the imperial family came and attended the services. And so we give a warm and hearty welcome in the name of Jesus Christ to our distinguished guest this morning, His Imperial Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie I of Ethiopia. Kandika the Six. Again, the woman received it. So it come from the angel of the Lord. And if um, church people or anybody don't know, the angel of the Lord is Jesus Christ. You can look in the Bible, Old Testament, and in the Cape and the Gospel as well. He's in there. It came from the Lord to the apostle, representing the 12 apostles and the 12 tribe of Israel. Yeah. And it comes from him to the official in the Ethiopian, the, because that was Judaic Ethiopia, right. Solomonic Ethiopia, who was reading his Bible, and he was reading from the book of uh, uh, Isaiah. Isaiah 53 was reading. Yes, too. yeah. In case they yeah. don't know where the book Lord find ready. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Shall was reading. Because them, them try to white, yeah. um, black wash out, yeah. um, white wash out <laughs> yeah, the man. facts yeah. of that thing. And, and, and Brother Asha is a serious um, verse to mm -hmm. continue, because he said, who will believe our report? Mm -hmm. So yeah. go and read the report. Go and read the <laughs> okay, report. yeah, well. Go and read the report. This, the fact that he remind a Bible when he opened the Bible college, Ethiopians supposed to have this knowledge part down. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. He a plus marks. Yes, man. Mm -hmm. Sharp. Yes, man. And here in, in, at the Berlin Evangelical College, the world, they had their, their finger on the nuclear button then, mm -hmm. 1966. Cold war. Yeah. So um Billy Graham asked His Majesty to come and address this congregation of Christian leaders. Yeah. Every church domin domination was there. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I read the other secular report to it. Mm -hmm. They were all there, the Roman Catholic and um, the Jewish faith were just observers. Mm -hmm. They weren't partakers. So this was the, the, the church, all of them, big and small, they were all there. Yeah. And after, when his majesty get up to it, and he says you. this, as Jesus Christ has said, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. 
It is therefore our express hope that these words will be realized in their full significance in this great assembly. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to pause this one? Yeah. As uh, Jesus Christ has said, uh, where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. It is therefore our expressed hope that these words will be realized in their full significance of this great assembly. No parable, eh? uh, No, it's not no parable. Okay. Okay. No. It's true. just like when, it, when <laughs> just as he says, says. No, it's just like when come the clear Literally. them in the first dispensation of who he is, but mm -hmm. he don't him tell you through the scriptures. Yeah, he must size them up and make them size them up. For correction and for solidarity, you can go and, and look up that video with uh, Billy Graham and Emperor Selassie. At the Berlin country. At the Berlin country. Yes. But it, okay, the man who have the name of um, because the name Silas means Word of God as well as yeah. he's talking. Yeah, if I remember yeah. still, Billy Graham invited him, and there was yeah. a there was a kind of tension. Yeah, yeah, wrestling, you know, wrestling his head still. Yeah, you know, yeah. Over, you know where them should let him come her. Right? Yeah, so he invited him, and then they just him keep coming back to him, yeah. and it was the same thing keep coming back yeah, to him man. that that Ethiopian yeah, official. Right. Yeah. Why did Haile Selassie use this to open the speech? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Is that self-revelation? It's, it's a declaration right there. Of who? Of him, the person of the Bible. But did they are, are they awake and realize the I mean awaken? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know that realize me? Have, have they awoke? And significant, the word significant that yeah. so they must be paying attention to what the, the person and is. In the name of Christ, Christ. he mentions that. Mm -hmm. In the name of Christ, mm -hmm. like um, Matthew 20, 28. Yeah. 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 So it's a flip of Matthew 28. 28 there because Christ talk of Selassie, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Which and, is here, and here is Selassie talking of Christ. 35 which is the same years ago, the there came to the throne Emperor Haile Selassie the First. He established a written constitution. He established a parliament. So did they realize who was in communication? Built roads with the steel. Hospitals. They realize? Of course. <laughs> Schools and well, universities. Um, when him, the Herbert Armstrong was there. Yeah. And then the whole world. Yeah, Dr. Oswald Hoffman. Well yeah. well. He's the only one who stepped forward out yeah, of that yeah. meeting. Yeah. 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 And, and brought yeah, 19, the That was 1966, right? <laughs> yeah. Then Dr. Hoffman was 1968. 67, yeah. yeah. He's the only one. Yeah, man, bring Christ to the meeting. Yeah, the only one. Christ lives in the life of a man and a nation. His Imperial Majesty, Haile Selassie I, Emperor of Ethiopia. Bringing Christ to the nations, the Lutheran Hour. Assembly was yeah, here. Because and the whole thing was the same year come to Jamaica. It was after that. Bringing yeah. Christ, Christ to the nation, it was after that. Yeah, assembly. after this. The conference, because yeah. there was supposed to know. There was together. one before this with the Eastern Orthodox yeah. um, Oriental churches. Yes, right. Mm. Which they confirmed the title of Defender of the Christian yeah, Faith. That's the first. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then this one. This is after him come from Jamaica, still a couple months after, in Berlin. We are, we are, we are, we have to give a Bible assurance, a Bible greeting. I don't mean what Jamaican Christians yeah, want to say. Yeah, he got a Bible, Bible a yeah. deserving Bible uh, recognition, mm -hmm. right? Because they didn't, they, them not realize nothing. Who is in the midst of them? Why did the Lion of Judah? Judah. Who is the Lion of is Christ? Jesus the Lion of Judah. Yeah, yeah, you can read it in, mm -hmm. my, in uh, Revelation twenty-two. Oh, and, and what's my name? Verse nineteen. My name is Abul, the Memphis Kedos. The Christ, Holy Trinity. And Christ would send the Holy Spirit, which is the Comforter. They know him now? Yeah, with the new name. The new yeah. name. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let me just. As you all know, it is centuries past since our country, Ethiopia, accepted the gospel of Christ. We learn from the Holy Scriptures that the first Ethiopian was baptized only a few months right. 
after the death and resurrection of our Lord. And I'm telling you about Fumentos. Gone all 400 years long mm -hmm. the line. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. How, how much is a few? Uh, AD 35. How much is a few months? Few is more than two. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. Two is few. Yeah, yeah. Two we don't see them with the few months. No. Yeah. Over Not two months. Last year when they had rock option at Ethiopia, I saw a, a major TV channel broadcasting propaganda that Ethiopia get gospel by just barely after England. I know. Yeah. Yeah, me hear that too. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Like six or seven yeah, yeah, centuries. Yeah, 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 yeah. After England. Yeah, after England. Really? Mm -hmm. And like me, I want one saying, saying, saying to like after Armenia. I don't think I yeah. can. Uh, yeah, after Armenia. Yeah, so well, that means that I'm not reading the Bible. No, that's no, no that's, that's, that's provocation. Yeah, yeah, that's, provocation. That's, that's, it's provocation. They know what they read. It's just provocation. Because she's the first to receive it. Yeah, go with that. Uh, and, mm, go ahead a with few that, months she. after the mm. death and resurrection of the soul. So this is a concurrent um, reminder running there. Mm. Mm. Yeah, after it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a few months. Yeah, not a few years. It's definitely not 400 years after. But the whole thing is Ethiopian action, if you ask me. <laughs> You know, but if the Lord is just not, you know, I'm like, you know, I'm included. You know, we in Ethiopia have one of them, but it's the oldest one. It became the official yeah. state religion in the fourth century. Yeah. Right? That means with all the synods and the other trappings yeah. and all that church administration. Yeah, as the, as the body developed. Yeah. yeah. You know, she centralized. Yeah. We're, we're you centralized. The Syrian church. Orthodox Church, the ferment has confirmed. Right, it's just gospel. centralizing. Even about bringing it there, right. yeah. confirmed yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. So these are the, 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 the but that yeah. station, our French station. Yeah. But, but, you know, but just that's like why, England. <laughs> that's why in the time of Martin Luther, go on, go on, go on, Jeffrey, go on. No, in the time of Martin Luther, when it, it took the Ethiopian again right. to reconfirm Martin Luther's you know, you know, break away from the Catholic right. who was polluting everything. Right. And and you see, Jay, you see, this is why I remember Rance is good, you know. Because then we have to go back to the beginning again, which Ethiopia is the first country mentioned. Yes. So, so it's, that's what, that's what it's, it's by the foundation, so they might try to take it away. Then you know, remember, so you just pass it up there. Yeah, a yeah. few months, Bridget. But that's mm -hmm. that him just read there. It's a reminder. So, where is the Ethiopian church to are them to defend all of this? That's yeah. almost like synonymous with Christ. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that almost. It is it's a concurrent event. Because it is the angel of the Lord that, that gave the instruction to go. Yeah. It wasn't just an evangelizing business. To the angel of the Lord specifically, direct, yeah, command and a direct command to go and do that, yeah, because his majesty said, Straight it's to a the matter government. of pride for us, mm. a special cause for thankfulness to Almighty God. Mm. When we recall that the Christian faith was introduced to our people by the imperial court mm. and through the instrumentality of the then reigning monarch. And which is Gersim and Kandika the sixth. You are the 334th in the line of succession. It's a, yes, exactly. And the 134th of the Christian kings. Christianity came to Ethiopia, I believe, in 330 AD. Uh, if you read the Bible, you can't get this. Uh, what time the Christianity comes in Ethiopia? The book of Acts of the Apostles in the New Testament mentions the story of the first convert to Christianity. That was the Ethiopian eunuch, who was the courtier of Candice, Queen of Ethiopia. He had been up to worship at Jerusalem, and on his way home, driving along in his chariot and reading the prophet Isaiah, met the Apostle Philip, who preached to him about Christ, the Son of God. And when the eunuch believed, Philip baptized him in the water and the eunuch went on his way home rejoicing. This, according to the Bible, is the first Ethiopian to be converted to Christianity. The story is found in the book of Acts, chapter 8, verses 26 to 39. Acts 8, 22. Like he just did, like he just did to them. He said it went to the woman. Right. right. Just like here. Right. Like he went to Like Saudi. Yeah. She, she was the monarch, right? But he is, he is the yeah. head. Yeah. yeah. Right. Same right. Same. Again to the woman. Right, the woman. he was the head yeah. that gave the, yeah, gave the command right. to go and do that. On, she right. was the mona. Right. You had all the charge of right. the children. Right, and he was, he was um, the Al-Gabarash. Right. 
Is that the same authority? Same, same thing, um, um, Rastafari, it's um, like, it's, it's yeah, like the angel of the Lord. Parallel. I'll go. I'll the I'll go rush. The yeah, well, yeah, the yeah. one who the claim is to come. Well, this Lord. again called for clear conscience, ain't it? And, yes, uh, Jesus but Christ. Upon the facts yeah. are really come on. So why why are you? I, I'm I'm kind of puzzled here. I'm kind of disappointed because here His Majesty is giving evidence to that history. History. Mm -hmm. I have people who are at about fourth century. Yeah, yeah. And, him, and, and, and he told him, you know, the man did ask him, um, and he said, Go and read, you will find what time it come in the Bible. Go and read the Bible and you will find. Kind of, I know the fourth century was to him. Which is a few months a few after. Months after. Yeah, three after death and resurrection, okay. three days, then the ascension happened. Let's be honest. Which man lived 400 years since the ancient time? So the, which pastor? The pastor don't live 200 years. So, so it even not even 200 years it, it wouldn't be because Philip is one of the apostles. Mm -hmm. So how long would Philip live for baptize Ethiopian official? So, so even that, if you're honest in yourself, yeah. you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. will know that is the not a long time. Of them. It's not a long so it was time. in the time of the apostles. In the time, in the of, the apostles. In the time of them existence, right? Yeah. So, yeah, and at that first first Christianity did flourish. Right, it flourished for a good while until yes. In around the fourth the right. fourth century, right. the Catholic come in yes. here, yes. it started to cause mm -hmm. problem. Yeah. Right. It flourished well. Right. It went out, and it, that's why they became they became fearful because it was taking credence. And it was the Ethiopian them give. The, yeah, well, the, the, the first Christian right. country, Ethiopia was yeah. no hidden. Right. She was known. Bazin was the as Bazin yeah. was the, was the emperor at the From time Moses when he was right, and then yeah. then um the queen the queen is the monarch at that time. There you now. Yeah, Bazin is a descendant yeah. of Solomon, many And both of, both of their genealogies is inside here, is in that same green book there. Oh, so before the, the, the patriots mm -hmm. now, it, it's like the majesty make the line, get kings out of that lineage. What lineage? Um, he kind of brought in the kingship lineage through his genetics. The kingship lineage was established with David. Yeah. To Solomon. Oh, so before Christ. Yes. To Solomon, to to uh, Menelik the first, because he's there was a real bear now. Um, that was cut off. Jerobeam and Reobeam. Yeah, the Fidemos get cut off. Menelik's, Menelik name is um, God's innumerable measures and it lasted 3,000 years until her reign. This is on the Empress Taitu, Menelik's wife. Taitu to one of enlightenment and intelligence. But he, but he had to he had to make the ear the ear claim to Jerusalem yeah. first, so that's yeah. why he had to be born from the virgin. Yes. Yeah. As the, he told the prophet Isaiah, the virgin shall bring forth. Yeah. And you see himself yeah, declared to lay the foundations of yeah. the Christian faith. That's what he did with himself. Yeah. Yes, brother Asha give thanks to bring in a whole heap of artwork to life, you know, and make it even easier for understood and explainable and you Well, know, we have one more for the Queen. Sure. Mm -hmm. Psalms forty-five, verse nine. Mm -hmm. And you you can we can compare a text here. For sure, so limited there is are. Right. Not that it is wrong, <laughs> just limited. Yeah, yeah I'm, so we're gonna die. we can we, for we have time for um. I'm gonna leave leave the heritage man to you with them because illustrious. You know is. No, well, we're not, we're not, you know, it's not yeah. in, a, in a in a negative way you're doing this. They're doing this in a way to show enlightenment. Yeah, man. Because he did say they need to come, to, they need to upgrade. So this All is right. what we're doing here. L listen, listen to this. Which one you want to go first? I'll, I'll read Amaric first. Right. Like how she's first. Yeah. So in um, verse 9, Bebeti menges ti, kemi genyu, weizarit, mekakel, ye nigis tat se toch lishoch, ye genyalo, nigis ti tum benitsu warik, Ya shebreke geti nya libs tegwe natsafe ke bizu ke zufanun 
Kezufoni, the best uh, Kenya, Komalech. So, in the midst of thy royal palace art be found, ladies descended from the royal family. The queen's women and daughters are in, the, uh, are in attendance, and the queen is covered in pure gold, embellished, resplendent, elegantly dressed, standing towards the right of thy throne. And she has yeah, a garment so yeah, embe and embellished. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, 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 embellished. Embellishing gold. Yeah. And in a, I saw Yeshua a coronation scene, which was his majesty over here, the Bible reading, the empress. Yeah, yeah, that's how they were called. Right, the ladies were right here, yeah, in white and all them things. Yeah. See where the English say, King's daughters were among thy honorable women upon thy right hand in the history of the Queen. Since the early hours of that morning, all in Addis Ababa began to prepare for the impressive event of the morning. The Emperor and Empress Manon had already spent the hours of the night before. Yeah, exactly. True, true. Them diminish the scene. It's not honorable woman, it's the royal family. Yeah. How these cycles are from the royal. Yeah. See the difference? As much as you tell them to for a long time. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. The Hebrew upgrade. and the Greek need, need to, upgrade. to be upgraded. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Mr. Yeah, people are come talk about how oh, it's on the Hebrew, Hebrew here. I said this. Yeah. There's no one said this. There's the Hebrew. There's the Hebrew. There's no one there's, there's like said these the things. Yeah, but the National Geographic recorded a Hebrew Christian yeah, ceremony. ceremony. Yeah. What does it do? Yeah. What does that yeah, do? The yeah, yeah, that's what is the same coronation she was coronating that he's reading the Hebrew thing from. And didn't they you know, say, which them come short there. Didn't they say. They come short in the, in the English versions. But doesn't it say also in some place that it's like they were thrown back to David? Our nation, right? Yeah, brought them. Yeah, yeah. Back yeah. into the Bible. Yeah, back into the yeah, Bible. To David's yeah. time, in the time yeah. of David. Yeah, yeah. 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 when yeah. David was. Yeah. The American yeah. army ambassador, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. like he was. On a black people, right? Black people are not right in some. Yeah. 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 Because if the Ethiopian, them, this is the history they're not defending. So when them want to come discredit Rasta, come me raise them up. I don't respect their church. The Lord, when Levites go wrong, him cut them off, like yeah. Abahu and Nadab, yeah. like Eli and his sons. Yeah. Right, him trim it down to Kefli, um, old Teklehaim in its house. Yeah. Him trim it down. Yeah, yeah to usefulness. Yeah, yeah well, more <laughs> people were, 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 were yeah. usefulness. Enlightened. Enlightened. Could be yeah. useful. Don't just stand decorated with you know, standing emblem. Yeah. Yeah. Be useful as well yeah. to encourage the people and, and be able to educate them along the way. That's what a priest does. Not just stand up and look pretty. I want everybody to come shake you and I'll worship you and bow yeah. down to you. And when but, you're um, asking your deed, when you're coming to church. The, 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 the Solomonic um, Matthew 12 verse 42. Here we are in BC 992 in Jerusalem. And the Queen of the South Matthew the Levite records right so the, this scene here is in the Ethiopian constitution article chapter 2 the imperial dignity shall remain perpetually attached to the line of Haile Selassie descendant of King Sahale Selassie whose line descends without interruption from the dynasty of Menelik the first is him, son of the queen of Ethiopia, which is her, the queen of Sheba, which is her, and King Solomon, if Jerusalem, which is him. That's Ethiopian constitution. The mm -hmm. same thing you read in the Matthew. Yeah, Solomon, Sheba, and Jesus. Mm -hmm. Greater yeah. than Solomon, it's yeah, him. rejuvenating the Solomonic dynasty. Then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It had to be because here, I, I, this, in the Song of Songs, the sun that the Sahai catalog that that brightness of the sun that was over Solomon it, it was gonna be moved this is he's taking his last sad note on the Karar because the, this is gonna all this is gonna leave him and come over here 
in Oxum, yeah. which is called the New Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. where, that's, where um, that's where that came from. Yes. How they renewed the kingdom. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Here it is. Mm -hmm. That a part of chapter 95, BC 972, which is when we have Azariah the priest reading out the prescription of the kingdom and his mother, you know, and the story here with the sadness of Solomon, that, you know, he, she had to raise her son, you know, in the spirit of the Lord as a single mother, single mother, <laughs> to the people are called single mother. <laughs> Yet still, you see, that's why you can't follow the things of men. You don't know how great a child is going to be. Right. Yeah. You don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Who is a father and a fatherless man? Well, as I see, he gave blessing <laughs> to the son, where the, the father, he went off chasing Canaanite women. If he was, he could have did a company or a sale, eh? Yeah. I mean, I come check her every so often up there. And, and he could have come with her. But he didn't. He stayed with I would I and is him. He loved the Canaanite niece. <laughs> True thing, man. And um, <laughs> it took His Majesty, greater than Solomon, to restore dignity to the house of Solomon. But that's why yeah. Jesus Christ did say that. And, 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 and Solomon that. is here. Uh, yeah, and as I said that to you. And know, it's not any old dignity, it's the royal dignity. Right. In, yeah, the imperial, imperial dignity. The imperial dignity. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Empress Menon was the first queen to return to Jerusalem since that Sheba time, you know. Yeah, a yeah. sight in the history mm -hmm. of Ethiopia, the first queen to return back home to Jerusalem was Empress Menon. Since Solomon and Sheba time. Didn't matter, significant. Yeah, very significant. Because yeah. she's the woman of the 16th yeah. Psalms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you see, in the, the Ethiopian dictionary, it shows you she looks like Gersemet Kandi. She's also called Hindake. Right. right? Which is a title for the Sudan. Right. That's the, one of the dominions. So, she has the title. She's the queen of the Oromo. Mm. Yeah, them, them not ready yet. If they were true Oromia, yeah, they man. would follow her example yes, and put a cross on their crown and respect her as the woman of the 68 Psalms and in the Psalms 45. Right, 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 yeah. That's why it's an Ethiopian. They need to learn their history. Right? They need to learn, and black people and a whole need to learn about the family that make up Ethiopia. Yeah, Kush's Agar, Genesis and so forth. They have, um, she the Abyssinian queen or empress and um, the Tigrinian queen, the single mother who was um, abandoned by King Solomon. She sent the, the, the child back to the father. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the, the single mother, the people need to really off of that. You don't know what the child is going to grow up to be. You don't know. Uh, and there, you know, it says God directed her there and helped, at, and helped her with the child. Look at her name, Saba and Mekida. Mm -hmm. To draw up and to lead. Yeah, okay, because became, Pull up knowledge. Mighty and great. You know, yeah, to transfer knowledge. Yeah, Saba.
Shit, shit, shit.